Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over the Nautilus plumbing system for the 2023 Winnebago Solus 59PX. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. Alright, let's go! Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and attach your water hose. Uh, now this is a personal, pref personal preference, but what I like to do is I like to attach a flex hose to the system first. That way there's not a lot of stress. So there are a total of five settings that you can use uh, for the plumbing system. There's dry camping, power tank fill, city water, winterize, and sanitize. So I'm going to go through each one of them in detail. So let's go ahead and first get started with dry camping. Okay, we're actually going to start with the power tank fill. Uh, so this is where you're actually going to fill your fresh water tank so that you can use the dry camping setting. So for power tank fill, all you do is just match the diagram, make sure that everything is set accordingly, like so. So that will go ahead and fill your freshwater tank. But let's say you're at an RV park and you have access to a city water outlet. Well, you're simply just going to match the city water diagram. So blue will be horizontal and red will be up, white will be down, and you'll utilize your hose here to bypass the fresh water tank and, and utilize the water. Well, for dry camping purposes, let's say you're out boondocking and you want to uh, just utilize the water that's in your fresh water tank, uh, you've already filled up your fresh water tank, so we'll just use the dry camping um, settings so the green is up along with the red along with the blue being horizontal and the white is down you can now turn on your water pump and that will pump water through your entire system now for the winterize settings um, I typically don't winterize the the coach myself I take it into my RV uh, local RV dealership to uh, basically let the professionals deal with it. However, there I've seen some videos on how to winterize. So if you indicate in the comments, I can go ahead and create a separate video to show you how to winterize the coach. And then sanitizing the freshwater tank is basically the, the same. I usually um, let a professional deal with it, take it into an RV dealership. But again, if you want to see a video on how to sanitize the coach, please indicate in the comments below and I'll be sure to create a video. It's pretty straightforward and simple. So one thing to note too is that when you're at an RV park and you have access to a water faucet and you're connected via city water, your, your back doors are gonna be open um, to allow the hose to flow through. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the other way is to fill your freshwater tank ahead of time. And if you fill your freshwater tank ahead of time, you can now access your uh, dry camping settings. Just be sure to follow the settings labeled here for dry camping. Uh, you don't need your hose connected for dry camping. So at this point, you do have access just to go ahead and close your doors and uh, so you could use the water at night if needed with your doors closed. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. So whether you're dry camping or filling your freshwater tank or using an RV park city water connection or any city faucet connection or winterizing or sanitizing, just be sure to follow the settings on here and the plumbing system is great you shouldn't have any problems at all 
All right, folks, that about covers it. Well, hopefully you found this video on the Nautilus plumbing system helpful and informative. And if you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks again and see you next time on The Healthy Traveler.